it's been a while, but alas, there's no time to chat, for I need to rant. So, I've just watched the trailer for Nosgoth, which is a free-to-play multiplayer deathmatch action game thing set in Nosgoth, which, as every schoolboy knows, places it in the Legacy of Cain universe. Now, I'm going to ignore the fact that, based solely on what I saw in the trailer, even though the aesthetics do seem decent, it nevertheless looks graphically dated, averagely animated, and generally unexciting. No, what I'm going to focus on is this. Why directly the fuck is this a free-to-play multiplayer deathmatch action game thing, and not a continuation of the story left dangling at the end of Defiance? A game, the likes of which is presented in the trailer, spectacularly misses the appeal of the Legacy of Cain games, or at least it does from my point of view. As much as I love the series, I'm honest enough to admit that the gameplay wasn't always that great. A Blood Omen 2 was a little simplistic at times, with some of Cain's powers being very context-dependent instead of letting you work out when best to use them. And Defiance was hindered by a god-awful in-game camera, which is currently tied with Sonic Adventure on my all-time camera hate list. But what kept me playing? What made me sink hours into the Dreamcast version of Soul Reaver? What made Soul Reaver 2 one of my all-time favourite games? What made Blood Omen 2 part of my collection? And what made Defiance a day one purchase? And what put all of them in my GOG collection the moment I had the money? was the story. The story, the characters, the setting, the atmosphere, and the aesthetics of Nosgoth are still, to this day, some of my favourite in gaming. From Soul Reaver to Defiance, it tells a complex, century-spanning saga complete with alliances, betrayals, religiously motivated bograms, uh, and time travel. They have some of the best voice acting in any game I have ever played. In, in fact, they are easily on par with Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. A proper Crystal Dynamics made sequel to Defiance would have been an instant pre-order and day one purchase of any special collector's edition they decided to release. The last time I did that was for The Witcher 2, and before that, um, there wasn't a before that. But this free-to-play thing? You know, I, I try not to get too precious or fanboyish about things. I, for the most part, when I do take issue, it tends to be for very specific reasons. Uh, see my thoughts on Star Trek Into Darkness. But in this instance, I, I, I just can't let this go. As far as I can see, Nosgoth isn't so much pissing on the legacy of Cain as it is scooping out its eyes and shitting in the sockets. And the thing of it is, I cannot see the purpose of it. I mean, who are they trying to appeal to? Are they trying to appeal to fans of the series? Although I tend not to make generalisations based solely on what I think, I doubt many of the fans of the Legacy of Kane series will give this game much more than their disdain. I mean, I know I won't. Are they trying to appeal to people who like multiplayer deathmatch games? Okay, but the thing is, they're everywhere. I might get some of their names wrong here, but just off the top of my head, uh, Firefall, Planet Side 2, Awesome Noughts, Black Light Retribution, uh, Age of Chivalry, I think it's called, uh, War of the Roses. Uh, and that's not including uh, multiplayer modes in established series like the Call of Duty multiplayer or the Battlefield multiplayer. And then there are games like Crisis, or Far Cry, Rise of the Triad. Um, hell, I think Quake and Doom probably still have multiplayer servers up and running. Uh, are they doing this for brand recognition? <sighs> I mean, with the greatest will in the world, the only people who remember the legacy of Cain are those that enjoyed playing those games the first time around. It's not like Star Trek or Dungeons and Dragons that both have some degree of cultural penetration that could potentially be tapped into. This whole endeavour just seems to me to be an exercise in wasting time, money and resources on a missed opportunity. On the one hand, if they wanted to create a new sort of deathmatch game, this was the perfect opportunity to create a new IP. Even if it were somewhat influenced by the Legacy of Kane, it could have been something altogether new, with the potential to be anything they wanted it to be. On the other hand, they could have created a great next or final chapter of the Legacy of Kane. A chance for something just that little bit different to have an opportunity to shine on a gaming stage that is wider than it has ever been. But instead, we have Nosgoth. And we have me asking, 
what directly the fuck.